Skulljack. Hey up, how's it doing? <laughs> this is round two, game one. On our right we have Jordan. What's his last name? Jordan Saxby. And oh shit. And <laughs> on our left we have an unknown player. Yeah, yeah. The so world of Android Man. Yeah, world of Android Man. man. Or worm. Or worm. Or Kate. Or, or player, player one. one. Yeah. We'll sorry, probably, we'll sorry, we don't know who you are. Yeah, we sorry. don't have the tournament standings in front of us. And we can't recognise you from your voice, although it's a lovely voice. Or your hands. You've got quite pretty hands. So we have Kate versus Biotech. We do. So. Seeing Kate hit the board, what, what do you think? Uh, uh, which I one mean, is it going to pick? It, you're probably looking at. I mean, it's. I don't really know at this point. I mean, that's the thing with the Kate deck. You can put the Kate on the table, and any player can kind of do anything. I mean. Well, she's got Deus Ex, net, net, uh, net shielding faction, so maybe the net damage one isn't as viable, and you go for the early score with Anissa and hope that her early game's slow. I mean, but at the same time. Like, just Kate will always run Deus Ex these days? I mean, I would, but I suppose not everybody would. Mm. And uh, the player, uh, unknown player did say he'd been playing since Christmas. Ah, right, okay. So it might so, be worth to bear in mind as Jordan is a seasoned player. Yeah, yeah. No pressure, Jordan. No pressure, Jordan. Though, that being said, Jordan does prefer the jank. He does. Uh, he is running Professor as his runner. But I do remember his Professor seems to have been doing really well. Well... Professor's the best it's ever been. Uh, it, yeah, at this point. It might not be the best, but it's... He's about as... He's, a, he's as good as he's going to get. Or he's, he's as good as he's been for a long time. It's as good as he's ever got. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. So, mandatory draw. Did we... Any chance we saw what Jordan picked? Uh, no. Okay, well... Your guess is as good as ours then. Jordan was very coy. Ice Ice Hedge Fund. Yeah. Oh, living the dream, as Jordan just said. Yeah, ice ice baby. I'm trying to see what player one has in his hand. Uh, I think he's got a cloak. So potential looking, stealth build. I was going to say stealth, but yeah, it's a cloak. That's there. right. So we've got Short the stealth gamble. build. Low two cloaks. Yeah, looks. Yeah, looks so like he's got a stealth. Two is that two short gambles? Two short gambles, two cloaks, an R and D interface, and I think he just. What did he draw? And show sure gamble probably. Mando's draws. That's one thing I do appreciate about Jordan is he's very clear about his plays. Yeah, very precise. Yeah. And he takes his turns. Like, he doesn't like rush half of it or anything. He'll take it like very uh, at an even pace. Yeah, but he's one of those fast talkers, so he's able to tell you everything he's doing really quickly. Yeah, Jordan has actually killed me with a. Uh, Astro token on a oh, June bug. Was it you he did that to? Mm. I, was I George, think so. I was telling George about that. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a stealth. a long time. Ooh, with that's a NA. Oh, was it? Uh, New Angeles City Hall? Oh, was it? Yeah. I mean, no influence so far. Could be running a count cipher. Maybe he just expects a lot of MBN? <sighs> well. Because if he's a new player, maybe he's not played against that many players, so if he's come up against a lot of MBN. <sighs> It, yeah. He might just find it as a necessity. Yeah. We'll see though. We haven't seen a console, so he might run Mayor. I always forget Jordan plays left handed. I wonder why he was asking, icing archive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he plays left to right as opposed to right to left. It's all part of the mind games. <laughs> oh, there is a Deus Ex. There we go. Like yeah, well, as Jordan points out, face checking against uh, Jinteki early can cool. often be very dangerous. Not cool. <clears throat> well, I have to assume he's running SMCs. Just doesn't see them yet. Yeah, maybe that's why he's drawing so hard. Maybe. Not really sure what that thing in the remote is. Jordan plays down. Maybe it's the knee save getting ready for the scar. Trying to be fast. Ooh, yes, yes. That's always a, that's the thing. That's always a threat with biotech as well. Oh, wow. Two R&D interfaces, so I think that's where he's looking to win the game. Not a bad shot though, got to be careful of snares. Ah, true, yeah, yeah, could be going brewery. But, I mean, I mean he's got the Deus Ex, <coughs> he's got the money to put it down at this point. That's true. And he's got Maker's Eye in hand as well, so you're looking at a... What, 
five card deck. So just discarded the Deus Ex. It's got clone champions out. I would have discarded the Mick as I at this point since I've got the um, R&D interfaces yeah, on the bottom kept the Deus Ex. Five card dig to begin with. And that R&D is still rich with agendas. I just feel Deus Ex will probably be too important in this matchup. Did, does he have the clone chip in the He does have a clone chip in hand, yeah. Don't know why he hasn't just installed it considering it's free at this point. Uh, so I'm not really sure what that could be in the remote. I mean, if he is going to be biotech in it, it could be like a medical breakthrough. No, oh, no, you, that would no. That no, could just be a five three. GFI, pushing, yeah. It could be a five three. It's pushing through. Then again, he should just leave it. And if it was something, he'd, I don't know. He more so there's the clone see, chip. Yeah. <clears throat> more likely to see a four two on the board than a five three on the board at this point. So it might just be a trap he's trying to bait him into. I wouldn't run it. But again, I am the guy who face planted a five advanced cerebral over Asher against him. Data Raven. No, what's that card? Which one? The one he's looking at? Uh, that's Scary Labyrinth, I think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, excellent Probably include. Looking... Excellent yeah. include. I expect Marcus Batty in this build then. Oh, yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, Giri Labyrinth. I had that in my. Um, uh, what's the the asset that allows you to. Uh, when the runner. No, it's an upgrade. Oh, well, Valley Grid. Valley Grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it in my Valley Grid deck. Yeah, it's weird. You're able to lock a runner out of the server. It's crazy. And uh, Giri Labyrinth combined with brain damage equals double neuro kills. Oh, my goodness, yeah. All the, uh, all the, all the flip, of course. Oh, exactly. Well, that's what you kind of have to be wary of. <clears> I would imagine that Jordan's probably going for the kill this, in this sense, but yep. seeing as whatever is advancing there, you'd imagine, oh yeah, Film Crit is a nice shout. Film Crit is definitely a good shout. He's got all three cloaks in his hand. Although the future perfect does sometimes get cut nowadays for GFI. Uh, oh yeah, I suppose. Depends what, depends what you're going for here. Yeah, well, Biotech's uh, agenda suite is often a little, can, can be tailored a little bit to the individual. Obviously, you've got staples like Nisa. Yeah. <laughs> Chum. Chum. Good old Chum. That is a card I've not seen for a while. Again, another good subroutine to Batty. Oh my goodness, yes. So, yeah, R&D getting protected. Yeah, that's probably the chum that went down as well. And he's going to need that celebrity gift money. As soon as the runner's brave enough to start running. I mean, I'd be tempted to go for an early run here with the day of six in the bin. Lucky find. Mm. Is that a corroder as well? Yeah, he's got a corroder. Oh, he's got his dagger in hand as well. Oh, okay, he's set then. Just need to start playing some of these cards. Yeah, he needs to get them down. No, oh, don't put that one down. Put the dagger down. <laughs> You've got him, it's back Baku to worry about. And that's it. Wait, well, you've got Ashigaru. Mm, Ashigaru true, over remote yeah. if you're trying to push out agendas. That's true. It's almost unparalleled. Yeah. And kids don't really have the, the, the parasites anymore. No, no, they don't. Thank goodness. He's got at least two maker's eyes in hand. Really? Yeah, maybe a third. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend the runner. Is it going? But is, is it Worms go? Pardon? Is it Worms go? Oh, he is. Yeah. So just a, a plain old enigma, that corroder then, <laughs> not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Also, quite <clears throat> bold just going for it without the century break, even though he's got it in his hand. Yeah, I mean, he obviously felt pressured to run there, I think. I like, a, like Maybe he thought that he'd, he'd, he'd been procrastinating too long in building the rig. Maybe. Also, he needs to discard something. So Jordan pushing through with Jackson here. We can't see any of his cards, unfortunately. Mm. What do you think that is in the server at this point? Do you think that's an agenda? He installed it on un unadvanced, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and he's just been—he just slowly advanced it. Fatal AI. But then again, if it—yeah, but if it was a uh, maybe. 
And then if it was actually just a trap, then ah, this, no, but maybe if it's fetal AI, then he doesn't want to put it on. Uh, he doesn't want to put it on film crew. He can just ignore it. Oh, that's true, actually. I imagine when he first put it down, he didn't mind if he dropped if he got well, it. But we'll see what it is. I mean, it could be just a plain old June bug, strange, only advanced. Yeah, but then why would you? Why I'm would you really defend, not sure. Maybe a Ronin. Oh yeah, Ronin. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Possibly a Ronin. Yeah. I mean, it could be a lot of things out of Jinteki. It could be a Mel repression. This is the, yeah. This is basically the conversation you have with yourself every time they advance a card on the Jinteki side of the board. So like, that, that dagger finally down. Yeah, finally. I'd been tempted to keep the other cloak as well. Yeah, well, I would have definitely kept the cloak. He is a new player, so. Yeah, fair. That I would wow. be getting stacked. But as not, Jordan says, he might as well. He's got the money. He's not got a whole lot of money, though, if you think about it, to install all that ice. Like, if he hits R if he hits HQ first and Jordan's forced to res it because he's got an agenda or whatever, I mean, probably doesn't because of Jackson. But then he could open up the R&D run or even check the remote and see what ice is run there and then run R&D. And you, you can't res all the ice that is on the board with, what, f 15 credits? 14. But, yeah. Let's see point. I think the pressure's... Uh, I think if the runner applies a bit of pressure here, it would be beneficial. I mean, his hand's pretty... Yeah, his hand's pretty light as well. Was that... Is that a Fisk investment? Uh, I can't see anywhere. The second card there? No, it's a... Um, oh, HQ, HQ interface. HQ interface, yeah. I thought... Anything at this point? Well, yeah. These biotech mind games, though... Yeah. With... It's just a simple advanced card, and it really could just be a whole lot of. Could be a lot of nothing. Could well, the, be the problem with the problem with the Jinteki, specifically Biotech in this case as well, is that you know if Jinteki, if when you know Jinteki is trying to kill you, you're trying to work out how they're trying to do it. But with Biotech, you're trying to work out how they're actually playing the game at this point. And yeah, that's then, what. Then you've got to work out right if they are going to fast advance, how they're doing it, and then how are they trying to kill me if not. If you see my point. So the runner ran on his last click there, probably not a good idea mm. against Jinteki with a HQ in the face down. More, more likely to see the snare, and especially with the jacks on the board, he'd be filtering his cards a little bit. So John's money you know, dwindled already with that poke. If he would have hit R and D, there's not, you're not raising four pieces of ice. True. And discards a clone chip, which is probably a terrible idea. I would have thought. Oh, I don't know what to get rid of. Just get rid of that maker's eye. Got th two of them. And an already into two already yeah. interface on the board. And he's not used them yet, so. Yeah, true. So, two runs being made so far. That thing advanced again, so if it is a run in, yeah. it may be getting a little bit dangerous. It, it, maybe if Jordan's got a biotic labour, he might be able to uh, Ooh, run, yes. uh, fire the run in and his ability at the same time. And he's got to play around Deus Ex, so if the runner has. Yeah, the kill's a little bit. Ooh, nice! So nice, it, nice. It's, yeah, beautiful. Sweet. Oh, so that that's probably a uh, Fitch Perfect or maybe a GFI. But now Jordan has five credits. There are six pieces of unresed ice on the board. The runner has both a HQ. Ten credits. Pardon? It's got ten credits. Oh, ten credits, sorry. I think the runner needs to hit R&D this turn. Make him res that ice, so make that score painful. Because even if he can't get into that remote because of unorthodox predictions, yeah, but... it'll be skin. And it'll be harder to... I mean, and he's already used two celebrity gifts. True. So the runner needs to run, in my opinion. But we know there's, there's probably a chum on that server, maybe a crick. Just let's find out. If it if it's a chum, jack out. Yeah, but we know. Mm, I suppose. Yeah. So no Jackson pops up. Maybe an agenda in hand as well, but it's probably... Is that a marker? That is marker. 
Jordan, what are you doing? What is this crazy? Does death? he have like? Is this a Colgate death? Code, yeah, I was just thinking. Does he have thingy? Um, what's it called? In- encrypted portals. I would hope so. The amount of Colgates I've seen at this point. Won't be surprised if we see an inner zoomer at one point. Well, there's a Yagura. He's definitely doing the code gates. That R and D, I guarantee you, is going to be cheap as chips. Yeah. It's going to be like what? So like, it's going to be you're going to have you're going to have like you know, well the, the chum the Kagura the Yagura sorry so that's two credits yeah maybe a pup. If, if, if you put Crick on there because he hasn't iced Archive that is correct actually then that's not a bad shout because usually you'd expect that Crick to go down on Archive unless you're expecting to, unless he's still got his hat and I haven't seen it so he's continuing. And this is probably the two. Oh no, the chum was earlier. There's Ooh. a Geary Labyrinth, so the hand size goes down by two at this point. Yep. So this is where you'd probably jack out. Yep. But it's probably the chum here, so you could still. You could feasibly get him to res the chum as well. Yeah, right. Now John's down to two credits. Mm. So if that is a 5 3, you can't score it. And there's only an Enigma protecting it now. Say again. And there's only an Enigma protecting it. True, yeah. So John's turn may be a little bit awkward here. Depending on what that is. No, down to. That passive net damage. Yeah. Pop the burst. <laughs> Pop the burst. All the economy goes back. Yup. Those celebrity gifts, particularly amazing to getting you back on track. Oh my goodness, yeah. I really want to see Jordan's hand. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. Yeah. Ooh. No. Wait. <laughs> what is this deck? What? what is this deck, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> is it just all Kogays? Oh, shit, we're peeking. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen another piece of ice other than Kogates. It might just be a Koge deck. So he's obviously got. So it's Vanity Project, isn't it? Yeah. So it's obviously got like three of those. How many points is that? That's 12. And then three unorthodox, three encrypted portals. 18. And then a Philotic Entanglement, maybe. Boosh. Or a Fetal, I'm not sure. Or two Kronos Project. I don't even know. It's just like a... Or a... um, Brain Trust. Yeah, or maybe... And let's face it, if someone was going to over-advance a Brain Trust, it would be Jordan. Well, so, and since you're... Uh, Which means all your ice is even cheaper. It, all your ice will be free, mate. Yeah, exactly. And then when you score in crypto portals, you make a bunch of money. And your strength for your ice goes up. Yep. Use the crick at a four strength. It's actually quite annoying. So, if this is a 3-2, Jordan can win? Uh, yeah, pretty much. But Enigma is there, so that server's not exactly secure... That he only has three credits, but there's the lucky find. He's up to nine. Pop a technical right to run? No, just run, I think. He's only got four credits. What? Oh, well, I suppose you've got to break a chum and you got to pay for it. Yeah, maybe pop a technical right to chum. Yeah, run. Also, bearing in mind, he's only got. Oh, so he's got two stealth credits on the board. So he can get up to strength eight. With what I'm assuming will be refractor. Yeah, but there shouldn't be anything that high at this point. I mean, assume it. In a zoom is five, but that's still one star off credit. Interesting. I can't. I'm not sure if I would have run that server just to see what he put down mm. and see if he res that ice, which he probably would. Probably wouldn't. No, I mean, it's probably not. Would you really want to? Mm. But you've got to assume agendas are in R&D at this point, anyway. True. That agenda, agenda density is going to be low. Oh, yeah. How many agendas 
do we think is running then? It, I mean, it depends how many one pointers is running, depending on how low his agenda density is. I mean, if it was what we said, it would be three, six, nine. But then six, agendas, which is then six of those are one pointers. That's true, yeah. This is us completely trying to work out what Jordan's playing here. <laughs> you do that every time you play Jordan. Yeah, I suppose. We could be completely off base. I mean, we probably are. We definitely are. He's probably doing something different. Definitely want to see a Marcus bat here. Oh my goodness. Like, I'd expect Chairman Hero as well, to be honest. So this is a big dig. Mm -hmm. Five cards. Yeah. Okay, you then access three. Stealth rigs can be pretty good at that. Yes, it's true. The first run of steel. Lovely. What have we got? And you say the staple. Oh, we didn't even name that when we talked about the agendas. We're idiots. Oh, yeah, you're right. So a free vanity project. Free Nise. How many points is that? Uh, 12, 6, 18. And then two unorthodox. Maybe? But I think you probably want to see the all unorthodox. No, no, two, I think two's fine. Mm. Just makes your game plan less obvious because you're not. it's not obvious that you're always going to be scoring unorthodox as your first agenda. Uh, that's true, yeah. In the money, mm -hmm. and uh, judging by the all the ice we've seen, it's probably enough to be resin a lot of it. You get another one all in there. Hmm. I'm wondering not what that unres piece of ice is. On the R and D. Hmm. Maybe he wants to surprise him with a Giri Labyrinth batty. Maybe. I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, normal draw, gain credit, hedge mm. fund. Take credit, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So there's more, it's all stuff, you know. Yes. <laughs> that silence is golden. As we're trying to work out what's yeah. going on. Still don't know what that thing down, face down in the remote is. A I mean, is it a snare? I mean. Just protecting the remote? Yeah. I was more just thinking, what's. Well, I mean, he's got re refract on the board now, which means that anything that's. All these cheap little co gates is just not that taxing at this point. Mm. What he needs is things that are strength three or above. Yeah. To get him to use those stealth credits so he can tax them out in terms of stealth credits. Obviously better early, but maybe this game may still go on a little bit, depending. Jordan doesn't seem to be, uh, as he said, he's just been drawing. Yeah. Uh, we've got to assume influence is maybe uh, biotic labour. Uh, then two, maybe two Giri Labyrinth. Mm. So that's four biotic labour. One or two. Maybe. Maybe just the one Giri actually. I was thinking that face down could either be uh, Edge of World or... Ooh, Edge of World, um, very nice. Valley Grid, as you said. Yeah, it'd certainly be interesting. I mean, Enigma not especially great with Valley Grid. Yeah, because it can just run last click and it doesn't matter that much. So, I, don't th I wouldn't have thought, thought so. But certainly Edge of World could be. Edge of World at this point. It wouldn't be a game ending though. Since we've, we've flipped the ID so we know that he's True. not got the two net damage on hand and he's probably only running two new rolls if he is. So that's the thing with Biotech, the, the, the scariest until they've flipped the ID. 
And you can actually start to get a handle on things. Yeah, that's true. Because you're not playing around just unknowns. Yeah. So we've got an install in that server. Maybe an agenda. Again, maybe that's what he's waiting for. And it's just the upgrade in that. Two unres pieces of ice on R&D. Not, not flush with cash, but enough. Who, Jordan? Unlike the runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate's got a lot of money here. And drops another ghost runner. Yep, powering the stealth rig. I think just dig. Just dig R&D at this point. It's not. It's only costing you one, two, three, four actual credits, one stealth credit. Yeah. You can even abuse his hand. You've got the HQ interface. It's true, yeah. I mean, the runner can get in, ev like everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jordan is correct. Sometimes it can feel pointless to res ice against stealth cart oh, yeah. because it's like it's almost just doesn't matter. But yeah. I always find that you probably should because at least then they don't run elsewhere afterwards. This is true. Uh, the pointless purge mm -hmm. and there's the edge of world. world you called it so three <laughs> three brain damage I suppose you don't want to res that ice either to keep the runner out <sighs> I'd be oh wow I nearly killed him um, uh, there I goes that new Angelese that was never installed Oh, you, oh, oh, one one, you, you wouldn't really need it no, apart right. from snares yeah I suppose um, I would have been tempted to leave that edge of world there Yes, to say just, to, just to know when, just exactly. to know when an asset no, goes in there. there. He's not going to put it back and then maybe reinstall it. Yep. Yeah. Well, medical res uh, money does not matter at this point. Yeah, true. So that's medical hedge and slebs. Yep. Oh. And is this it? Yeah, he's got the clone there. chip. He's got the clone chip, and he's got a Deus Ex in the bin. Right. So, <laughs> what was that? Then? So the because uh, because the player is new, he missed his window to bring out the Deus Ex. Ah, right. Yeah. So that was, that was a good game and an unfortunate. Timely demise for the runner. Mm. He did have both neurons in hand, which was very nice, but he did do a lot of drawing with Jackson, so it's bound to find him. We just saw no other pieces of ice other than code gates. Mm. I mean, just in our discussion <laughs> at the end there, I feel like Jordan did lead enough, enough of a pause. Uh, well, yeah, I, <clears throat> same, to be honest. But, but again, he's a new player, so... It's one of those unfortunate things. Like, as, He's now learned that oh, if yeah. he sees that neural... Like instead of freezing like a deer in headlights, he needs to slam his fist on the table and say, "No pause." Well, I'm going to install Deus Ex. Exactly. As soon as you have either like no cards in hand or few enough cards that you think you might die, you be like, "Wait, wait, 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 let me just think about this." Even if you just want to just check that you've got a like a Deus Ex in your bin at that point. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a learning experience. I think exactly. I think we've all been there, and uh, yeah, I suppose. Simple, just some, simple, just twat, some of us learn lessons on camera. <laughs> yeah, I, so wish, sorry, I wish we knew his name as well. <laughs> Instead of Worm. Worm oh. or Player One. Well, uh, well, unfortunately for Worm there, he uh, he died pretty hard. And we'll bring you game two of this matchup shortly. Bye. <laughs>